I am Anil Kumar sharing with you solution of a question from my student Gurmeen. It is based on quadratic equations. The question is determine the equation in standard form of the parabola that passes through 1 minus 2 if its zeros are 3 plus minus square root 5. Gurmeen, let me first thank you for this excellent question. I'll provide you with a good solution here. However, you can always look into my videos for which I'll provide you with links where we'll have pretty good solutions for similar questions. Okay, so let's begin and see how to solve this question. What we are given here is, we are given a point P, let us say 1 minus 2, and we are also given roots of the equation, which are at 3 plus square root 5 and 3 minus square root 5. So we have conjugate roots here. As we have discussed earlier, there are many methods of solving this particular question. Method A could be, method A could be, since we want to write answer in standard form, uh, let me write this method in a different ink. We are not going to use it here. y equals to x square minus sum of roots times x plus product of roots. Now this is the most efficient method to get general solution. Correct. If a point is given as it is given in this case, this may not be the best way of doing it, correct? But this is the best way if you're looking for a general solution, okay? So, you know this is a good method, don't use it. B. Why? Because we are given a point. The other method is to use the roots themselves. A solution, so that is going from solution that is that involves backward calculation or reverse calculation so since you know that x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a and standard form basically is is ax square plus bx plus plus c okay that is the standard form so you can find a b c from these roots which are 3 plus minus 5 you get an idea but again if you are given a point it also gives you a general solution so this also gives you a general solution you understand what i'm trying to say a family of curves which is good for the roots. So we'll adopt the third method here. I'll provide you links for these two so that you can practice with these and if you're lucky enough you may get the right solution with the point also but don't try it. So now we are going in for the third solution which really means that we'll write the function y as equal to x minus the first root times x minus the second root and everything times the factor a to make it specific since we have a point here given to us. Now that makes it difficult. Do you understand? So using this formula we could write y equals to a times x minus the first root here is let's say 3 plus square root 5 times x minus the other root which is 3 minus square root 5 so this bracket is for that one it's the second bracket closed you got it okay so I'm running out of space I can see it very clearly when I open the bracket I get x minus 3 and that becomes minus minus square root 5 times x minus 3 and that becomes plus square root I mean 3 plus square root 5 bracket close 
To expand this, you can use these two are x minus 3, same thing. So you can use a square minus b square, use any method. What you'll get here is square of this, which is x minus 3 whole square minus square of that, which is which is 5. So let me squeeze in here. So, okay, I could expand this, which is x square minus 2ab, which is 6x. Square of this is plus 9 minus 5. Okay, so that gives me y equals to a times, so this is easy, correct? Within brackets, x square minus 6x, 9 minus 5 is plus 4. So we get your equation. This is in standard form. Now at this stage, we can use the point P, which is 1 minus 2, to get the value of A. So if I write minus 2 for Y, okay, so I'm writing minus 2 for Y, and I have A times, X is 1, so I'm writing this as 1 squared is 1, minus 6, plus 4, okay. That is to say, it is 5 minus 6 is minus 1, so it is minus A. Good. So from here, you get the value of A as equal to, so minus minus cancels, so A equals to 2. Does it make sense? Okay. So we have A equals to 2. Good. Can you write down the answer now? To write down the answer, we will use, we will use this equation. All right, the best we have, a equals to 2. So that is to say, we'll write y as equals to 2 times x squared minus 6x plus 4, which is 2x squared minus 12x plus 8. Correct? So that is your final answer. I hope you understand and appreciate this method. Of course, this is my third priority method, for, but for your example, this is the best. And I hope many of other subscribers will also like and appreciate it. Feel free to post your comments. If you share and like, that would be even good. Thank you and all the best.